what is up everybody welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here my name is allison and my channel is all about education as i am on the pursuit of becoming a dentist this is about the lifestyle of a scholar and all the other little things that i encounter along the way um but before we jump into this go ahead and do the usual give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so as the title of the video says i am going to be talking about my first week of grad school and we started back in person so i want to talk about that experience and about what my program is and uh yeah basically just like a like an overview a story time I'm gonna make it snappy though because I gotta study. <laughs> so yes, this week was my first week back to school. So if you watched my last video, which I'll put right up here, um, over the summer I started my master's in biomedical science program at Mississippi College and those classes were all online and so now we are back in person, face-to-face -face instruction and okay so very 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 first impression is that the campus is very nice like the campus is gorgeous i will never i will never undermine my alma mater howard university but mississippi college is like very nice like the landscaping is very nice the buildings there's no like bricks that you're tripping on sometimes at howard there's bricks that come up from the pavement and you trip on them so like yeah, it's a very, very nice school. Um, this semester, I am taking two classes. So I'm taking um, neuroanatomy and histology. So a little bit of background on my program. So this program is 33 credits. It's intended to be completed in about a year or two. And my aim was to do it in a year and a half. So that's why I started in the summer. And then I'll have this uh, spring and fall and then, or fall and spring. And then hopefully I can complete my studies in the first summer session and then hopefully catapult my way into dental school. Um, but yeah, so it, the program is 33 credits and the requirements are that you take three medical level classes. And so you do have a couple options and this program is super great for anyone that is pre-dental or pre-med. And so essentially the medical level courses that you can take are neuroanatomy, histology, gross anatomy, medical physiology one, medical physiology two, and I believe there's like one or two other ones, but the ones that I'm gonna be taking, of course, is neuro, histo, and gross anatomy. Cause for me, um, and, and again, this program is great for if you are on a dental or medical track. And I apologize if the lighting shifts around a little bit, it's just the clouds and stuff like that. But um, yeah, anyways, so the program is really great because it exposes you to the material that you will be learning at your next level of education. And so it provides you with the perfect opportunity to really learn how to study, improve your GPA, and of course, learn these topics that are relevant to your field. So when I'm in dental school, I did want to make sure that I looked at the different schools that I was applying to and looked at what their curriculum is and made sure that I took the classes that line up with that because again it'll help me and it'll make my dental school experience much easier when I do get to that point. Yeah so first week of class went great. It was a good exposure. So um, Mississippi College is taking a lot of preventative actions especially since we still are in the midst of a pandemic of course which it, it sucks that we're back to school but you know it is what it is like we gotta keep going um, but so when I'm on campus, like you have to have your mask on when you're in a building and they just recently made it a rule that you have to have your mask on even if you're just walking around campus. So that's a little bit of an adjustment, but it's okay. And then um, aside from that, when I'm in my laboratory classes, since it, we do have to work a little bit closer with others, we also are required to have a face shield on. So I'll insert a picture of when I was in my neural lab studying and yeah um but classes so far are going good i know that it's going to be a very rigorous semester and i know it's going to be very hard like i've a lot of people have been like oh uh, why are you taking two med level classes and honestly it's going to be tricky it's going to be difficult but i think the entire program is difficult so 
yeah, we'll see. Just stay tuned. Stay tuned, honestly. Um, I think that I'm going to... I'm definitely making adjustments based on my undergraduate career and then I'm also making adjustments based on how I performed on my DAT which is my dental admissions test if you are pre-dental um but yeah so it is cool like we're back in person and a lot of the classes are like they are hybrid courses so they're switching what's online and what's in person and there's like rotations so it does get a little bit confusing but honestly like it's okay like it's manageable and the only other thing that is quite the adjustment with us being back to school in the middle of a pandemic is the fact that we have assigned seats so in undergrad i feel like you have like um unofficial assigned seats like you typically go in and you sit in the same place or at least the same general area but because we are trying to ensure that we can like contact trace if somebody does get sick it's just protocol at least for my program i'm not sure if the undergrad students have it that way as well but we have assigned seating and like we are constantly like spraying down our desks um i spray before i sit down but we also spray down at the end of the um lecture and just make sure it's okay for the next people that come in and aside from that it is also policy that we cannot eat or drink in any of the lecture halls or anywhere within the building which i understand because again we don't want people like lifting or moving their masks but it just sucks because it's like well what if i'm in lecture for three hours and i can't have any water like you know but i understand like it, it's just what we have to do but honestly it's okay like i'm very excited i am very thankful because a lot of the people in my program are very nice and then i already knew some of the people coming in just due to um some of the extracurriculars that i was involved in with undergrad so i already do have study groups which is great i think that's something that i'm also going to be implementing into my study strategy so aside from that i'm really looking forward to this semester i'm looking forward to of course learning these very very difficult subjects like after week one like it's crazy because i can already tell you all your arteries in the brain and it's like what like this probably would have taken at least two weeks in undergrad so like the the coursework is definitely way accelerated again this is medical level so I'm, I'm looking forward to all the information that I will have af at the end of this semester. I'm looking forward to making more friends. I'm looking forward to really learning how to study and being a boss. Like I'm, I'm really looking forward to earning A's in my courses because I'm going to work my ass off and I'm going to get A's because that's what I, that's what, that's, that's just what we're going to do. So pray for me y'all. Um, but yeah, I think I'm just excited to be in a network of people who are like really dedicated to their journey of becoming either a dentist or a medical doctor or a physician assistant. Like that's all the people that are surrounding me. So I think that's pretty dope and I'm really, really looking forward to that. But yeah, aside from that, I just wanted to tell y'all about my first week back to school in person. We're doing okay. We're doing all right. So Y'all just send y'all positive thoughts, positive energy, positive vibes. Um, maybe drop a couple of affirmations down below for me. Or drop any of your study tips down below if you have taken any of these courses. Yeah, the goal is to succeed. The goal is to do well. The, the goal is to earn my way into dental school. So, yep. Yeah. Aside from that, I hope that this is helpful for any of you who are looking into Mississippi College or currently in the program and just kind of looking for a friend or anybody who's in the same boat um, going back to school in person. Well, yeah, that's all I got for you all today. But I'm sending you all peace, positivity, and love. Enjoy the rest of your day, y'all. Bye. Yeah.